Hello and welcome to Shodo Sir's classes. If you like our video, do give us a thumbs up and you can visit us on uh, shodofsirsclasses.com and if you want to call us or just drop in to say hi, just give us a call on this number. Right. Today, we will start with sums on linear equations. Linear equations. Right. Now, we would want to go for the first sum. By selling a car for 72,000, a person made a profit of 20%. What was the cost price of the car? Easy enough. Let the cost price, let the cost price, cost price. C P B X. Then the selling price, then selling price S P will be rupees hundred and twenty by hundred X. Therefore, 120 by 100 x equals to 72,000, which was the selling price. So, if we just solve for x, we will get this 0, this 0 will cancel out, this 12 and this 7200 will give 600 and this 100 will be transposed over to here on this side so that becomes x equals 6 followed by four zeros which is 60,000 and that's your answer rupees 60,000 right moving on to the next sum We are required to solve this equation. This equation we must solve for x. Here is x. These are x's. So how do we isolate these? First, we must take the LCM on the left hand side so that we get a good clean equation 12x plus 1 by 4 equals 13x minus 1 plus 5 into 3 is 15 by 5. Now we just multiply this here and multiply this here. This technique is called cross multiplication multiplication so on cross multiplying we have 5 into 12 x plus 1 which is equal to 4 into 13 x minus I mean sorry plus 14 which will eventually give 60x 5 into 12 plus 5 into 1 is 5 equals 4 into 13 is 52x plus 56 4 into 14 so just take this here we will transpose this and we will have 60 minus 52x equals 56 minus 5 and on continuing this further we will have 8x equals 51 which gives us x equals 51 divided by 8 that's your answer 
let's see if this matches and that's there so moving on to the next question we will have uh, oops that's the previous one let me just pull this down yeah that's there all right five years ago the age of a man was seven times the age of his son looks like the beginning of a fairy tale a long time ago five years ago the age of a man was seven times the age of his son the age of a man will be three times the age of his son in five years from now how old is he now all right so we, we can start this by assuming let five years ago the age of son be x years so the man's age will be 7x so the age of the man is 7x years since 7 times the age of his son read the question you have to read the question very carefully now since it was 7x times 5 years ago so after 5 years from now the son's age will be after five years from now you know it's always best to underline the main parts of the question so that you get to visualize them more quickly this is a technique I have used and I have found it beneficial so after five years from now age of son will be x plus 10 years why 10 because we were considering this age five years from now let's suppose we draw a timeline now right let this be the present value now so five years before his age was x and now we are considering this five years after so the total number of years that have passed is equal to 10 so his age will be x plus 10 years understandable right so the age of the father the age of the father will be 7x plus 10 years right so by the statement of the given question we will have 7x plus 10 equals 3 into x plus 10 this is your first job this first job is done now your second job is to solve this for x fine enough let's solve 7x plus 10 equals 3x plus 30 so 4x keeping this just taking this here and so it's subtracting so 7x minus 3x gives us 4x equals 30 minus 10 which gives us 4x equals 20 and x gives us 5 so his son's age 5 years back so his son's age 5 years back son's age age was 5 
so his present age present i'm writing this here present age will be b 5 plus 5 years have been added so now his age is 10 years so 5 years back his dad's age was 7 times the age of his son so that implies 7 times the age of his son 7 into 5 which gives us 35 So this was five years back. So now his present age is forty because five years have been added, right? So these are your answers. This one is the age of the sun, and this one is the age of the man. Right. Let's move on to the next question. A laborer is engaged for twenty days on the condition that he will receive rupees sixty for each day he works, and he will be fined rupees five for each day he is absent. Tough job. If he receives rupees seven hundred forty-five in all, for how many days he remained absent? Fine enough. Let's. start this question we assume we assume assume he remained absent for x number of days he was absent for x days fine now the total money he will lose because of his absence will be total loss of money will be rupees 60 plus 5 x the total earning for 20 days will be total earning for 20 days will be 20 into 60 was his total income per day which gives us a matter of 1200 rupees total money he earned was 745 total money he earned was 745 so we just subtract 745 from 1200 so we have 1200 1200 minus 745 that will give us Four hundred and fifty-five. So, by the by by this equation, by this equation equals rupees sixty-five x. We will have sixty-five x accounts for four hundred and fifty-five rupees lost. So x becomes four hundred and fifty-five by sixty-five, which gives us, if you just calculate it, seven days. Done. Let's move on to the next one. Ah, yes. up and yeah the values of x and y satisfying the equations 8x plus 5 equals 
3x plus 2y equals 4 are given by. The first thing, this, this is a line by Richard Feynman. The first step to solving any mathematical problem is to first write the problem. So let us first write this problem down. We have 8x plus 5y equals 9. So 3x plus 2y equals 4. That's the second equation. So how do we go about solving this? So, first we may solve this for x or for y. Let us solve this for x first. It does not matter which you solve it for. You can solve it for x or you can solve it for y. It doesn't really matter. So, let's solve it for x. So, 8x equals 9 minus 5y which gives us x equals 9 minus 5y by 8. Now your job, this is the value for x. Now your job is simply to substitute this value over here. Now that will be 3 into 9 minus 5y by 8 since x equals this much plus 2y equals 4. Now if you carefully remove the brackets it will be 27 now 3 into 9 minus 3 into 5 equals 15y by 8 which I'll come to later because I'll be taking this LCM first. Now we have uh, plus 8 into 2 is 16y. 16y by 8 equals 4. So taking this over here, we will have 27 minus or rather plus y equals 32. 8 into 4 is so 32. So simply we can get y is equal to 32 minus 27 which is equal to 5. Your job does not end here, right? We have y is equal to 5. So you have to put y in any one of these two equations and then solve for x. This is just the value of x in terms of y. So if we substitute y here we will get um, 8x plus 25 equals 9. 5 into 5, I've put y's value 5 into 5 here. So this becomes 8x equals 9 minus 25 which therefore becomes 8x equals to minus 16 which therefore becomes x equals to minus 2 and that's your answer. So the values of x and y are minus 2 and 5 that's b right. So let's move on to the next one. The solution of the equation is root 2x minus root 3y equals 0. Root 5x plus root 2y equals 0 is. First rule of Feynman's, let us write down the equations root 2x minus root 3y equals 0 root 5x 
plus root 2 y equals 0. So instead of isolating the values of x and y, why don't we just do something else, something a little uh, offbeat. Let's just multiply this equation. Let's call this equation 1 and let's call this equation 2. Let's multiply 1 by root 5 and 2 by root 2. Just multiply the whole equation on both the sides by root 5 and root 2 respectively. So what do we get? We get 2x So we get root 10x minus root 15y equals anything into 0 is 0. And for the second equation we have root 10x plus root 4y equals 0. Subtract these two equation rather what we do is this is equation 3 and this is equation 4. So we take away 4 from mm, 3. So we have root 2x let's just let's just put the change in signs in order and we will have it easier so this becomes this equation becomes root 4y equals 0 so you're putting a minus sign here this plus changes to minus so this entire thing cancels out and we are left with minus brackets open 15 plus root 4 y equals 0. So y is eventually 0. Done. So if y is 0, can we find the value of x? Of course we can. We just substitute these values in any of these equations. So we have root 10x or rather we substitute why don't we substitute this over to here and then it would be better since there's no extreme values or foreign values interfering with our calculations. In any case so we have y is 0 so it becomes root to x minus root 3 into 0 which is equal to 0 so root 2x is equal to 0 which gives us x equal to 0 as well these are your two values for x and y now we have the answer that's the solution Let's just check out the next problem. The values of x and y satisfying the equations x by 2 plus y by 3 equals 2 and x plus 2 y equals to 8. These are your two equations. So what do we have? We have the equations can be written as just simplify this a bit. So we have uh, 3x plus 2y equals 12 and this is equation number 1. Can you, can you just know how we get to here? 
is because we take the LCM and then this becomes 6 and 6 multiplies with 2 on the right hand side when once we take this over and due to this LCM we have 3x since 2 is under x and 3 is under y we have 2y. So this becomes 3x plus 2y equals 12 and we have the ready second equation which is so we have the ready second equation as x plus 2y equals to 8 this is the second equation here we can observe something that the coefficients of y are same so we directly we negate 2 from 1 no need to multiply anything like the previous sum we directly negate this and we have 3 minus 1 is 2x equals to 12 minus 8 is 4 x equals 2 that's the value of x so we can just substitute the value of x over here since that is easier since we have to multiply by 3 in the first equation we can have 2 plus 2y equals 8 2y equals to 8 minus 2 2y is equals to 6 y is equals to 3 so the values of x and y are 2 comma 3 that's your answer ah let me just change the pen's color let's just pick out red here be easier okay now let's move on to the next one let's see what this says the simultaneous equations 11 by v minus 7 by u equals 1 11 by v minus 7 by u equals 1 and 9 by v 9 by v minus 4 by u equals equals 6 so note that the variables we need are in the denominators so how do we get the values directly so to get the values directly let us suppose let us take 1 by u to be x and 1 by v to be y so we have 11x 11x minus 7y equals to 1 and 9x minus 4y equals to 6 just substitute 1 by u equals x and 1 by y 1 by v equals y and you'll get these two equations simple logic you're just replacing these to be in a much more it looks good such that it's soothing to the eyes and it's easily solved so there's no shortcut to this we'll just multiply this by let's see suppose we want to eliminate uh, x so what do we do we multiply the coefficient of the second equation this is equation 2 and this is equation 1 to the first equation now we have 9 into 11 gives 99 x minus 9 to 7 gives 63 y equals 9 and for the second we'll multiply the coefficient of x from the first equation to the whole equation 
which is 99x again minus 44y equals 11 into 6 is 66 and we negate and don't forget to change the sign here so this becomes 6 minus 63 plus 44 since minus into minus gives us plus we have minus 63 plus 44 so that gives us let's put a minus here as well so we won't get confused so that becomes uh, 63 minus 44 or rather minus 63 plus 44 will give us a, will give us 19y or rather minus 19y because it's minus is there this minus don't forget about changing the sign I'm repeating this do not forget about changing the sign so this is equal to minus 57 since there is a little minus here these things can be a real menace if you're not careful just cancel these out and if you know the tables for 19 is 57 by 19 becomes 3 that's it that's your answer for y so we substitute the value of y in let's say in the second equation and then we'll see what happens so we have 9x 9x minus 4y minus 4 into 3 equals 6 so this becomes 9x equals 6 plus 12 equals and this becomes 9x equals 18 and x becomes 2 now note that these are the values these two are the values for x and y and what is x and y we have taken 1 by u to be x and 1 by v to be y so what we need to do is since this is x and this is y we have 1 by x equal to u and 1 by y equal to v just substitute the values for x and y here and then you will have 1 by 3 equals to u and 1 by 2 uh, I just ran out of space to write hang on 1 by 2 just keep this here 1 by 2 equals to v and those are your actual answers the last step is crucial people forget about the last steps and they just write their values as x and y which is wrong you have to substitute the values in x and y from the given transformations these are called transformations transformations these make our job easier to solve the given equations etc so when whenever you're faced with something as bad as this and you don't know how to do it just transform the equations right and then you will easily solve it if you know how to solve the systems of linear equations 
then it will easily solve it. There's no problem at all. Okay, let's move on. Let's just scroll this up and then we have 1 by 7x plus 1 by 6y equals 3. 1 by 2x minus 1 by 3y equals 5. Now, how do we go about this question? <clears throat> okay, so let us multiply this equation by 2. Now, why am I doing this? Because if we do so, this 6 will get cancelled out and will be replaced by 3, which is the coefficient here. So 1 by 7x will become 2 by 7x plus 2 by 6y equals 3 and let's leave the first equation as is 1 by I mean the second equation as is so 1 by 2x minus 1 by 3y equals 5. So 2 and 6 cancels out and this becomes 1, this becomes 3. Now we simply add them. Let me write it more clearly after those cancels. 2 by 7x. Note that 7x is in the denominator, not in the numerator. So we have 1 plus 1 by 3y equals to, oops, I forgot to multiply this by 2. This will be 6. So this becomes 6 and that's your first equation and your second equation is 1 by 2x minus 1 by 3y equals 5. Just add them. No need to change the sign. The sign is already changed here. So you just simply add them. So it will come down to 2 by 7 plus 1 by 2x. And this thing cancels out. Equals 6 plus 5 is 11. This as a whole, we take the LCM and we have 14. 4 plus 7 equals 11. X equals 11. So this cancels out and x is equal to 14 that's your first answer or other 1 by x equals to 14 so x since x is in the denominator this x is in the denominator this becomes 1 by 14 similarly we just for the all the other sums we just put this value of x and then we get 2 by 7 into 1 by 14 plus 1 by 3y equals to 6 this thing cancels out and that becomes 4 plus 1 by 3y equals to 6 and that is 6 minus 4 is 2 so 1 by 3y whoops 1 let me just get a new page and we'll be good to go insert page what was the equation let me just look through this 
and we had 4 plus 1 by 3y equals to 6. So, once we go to the next page, 4 plus 1 by 3y equals to 6. We negate 6, 4 from 6 and then we get 2. And so, y is equals to 1 by 6. So, these are your answers x equals 1 by 14 and y equals 1 by 6. Let's move on to the next one. This is interesting. A crop in Eva. Here we go. This is the next problem. 22 by x plus y plus 15 by x minus y equals 5. That's the that's the first equation. And the second equation is 55 by this is actually 55. Just let me write it more clearly. 55. So, we just write the two equations. So, we have 22 by x plus y plus 15 by x minus y equals 5. And 55 by x plus y plus 45 by x minus y equals 14. That's actually 14. It wasn't cropped properly. Okay. So, a little while back, we did a sum where we used transformations. We are going to use transformations again since uh, the system is a bit complicated and uh, you can see that if we take the LCM it will be x squared minus y squared which will become a quadratic and it will be a menace to solve such questions. So why don't we take why don't we take 1 by x plus y equal to let's say u and 1 by x minus y to be v fine enough so what we have is 22 u plus 15 v equals to 5 and 55 u plus 45 v equals to 14. So we multiply the first equation by 5 and the second equation by 2. So on doing so we will have 110 u plus 75 v equals 75 and the second equation becomes 110 u plus 90 v equals to 28 now we just subtract it change the signs and subtract this cancels out and we have minus 15 v equals to hang on a second this will be 25 let me get the eraser out and I 
think I have just forgotten my multiplication tables and 5 into 5 becomes 25 and this becomes V becomes minus 3 this becomes so we cancel these out this cancels out with 5 so V equals to 5 put this in an equation let's put this here and then we get 22 u plus 75 v is equals to 25 i'm sorry this will be this will just be 75 equals to 25 